Tailgate Tastes is sponsored by Ingalls. Hi, I'm Clark Neal with Tailgate Tastes. Today, I'm gonna show you how to take chicken kebabs and make a sandwich out of it. Yep, so I went to Ingalls, I got all my ingredients. We're gonna start with some fully cooked chicken Italian sausage. I got some beautiful bell peppers colored. I like the yellow and the red. I've got some red onion here. Simply got a couple of skewers. Quick tip, I like to use two skewers when I'm threading kebabs. Just because it makes them hold together easier, stuff doesn't rotate on them. And it's easier to grab a hold of them with your tongs when they're on the grill. So there's no rhyme or reason to doing this. I just like to get a couple of pieces of everything on the skewer. Like I said, this sausage is fully cooked. So you're just looking for some color on it and you want your peppers to be a little char and the onions to be cooked through. I've got the grill preheating to 400 degrees. We're gonna cook these direct about 10 minutes, five minutes aside. We're gonna baste them with some Laura Lynn House Italian salad dressing before they go on the grill. Baste them again once you flip them. When they come off, this is what they look like, beautifully, nice and done. I've got some beautiful French bread that I picked up in the Ingalls Bakery. I've got some jarred pasta sauce, just pick your favorite one. Put a good old smear on here. And hopefully if I've done my work right, you just put this in here, squeeze, and pull. Aha, there we go. Those kebabs right off. The cool thing about these kebabs, if you've got any friends that are gluten-free, you can omit the bread and still give them the same flavors that are in this sandwich. I've got a little bit of dried basil to put on top of it. And there you go. You've got a delicious Italian kebab sandwich. You can see this recipe and all of our tailgate taste recipes online at foxcarolina.com.